Praise God, it's good to be with you again. This is Pastor Tom welcoming you to another study in the Word. Well, this is, I think, if I'm right, now our sixth session on progressive deliverance. And by now, you're starting to see some things in your life if you need deliverance uh, in the area of this curse thing that I'm talking about. It's very important that you understand. Now, we've been redeemed from the curse of the law. It's important you understand that, too. All these curses we have been redeemed, legally, we have been redeemed from, okay, as Christians. The second you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, the blood of Jesus cleanses your past, your sins. These things are subject to the blood of Jesus Christ, subject to the Word of God, subject to the name of Jesus, subject to all the things. But sometimes, you know, if it's reoccurring in your life, maybe you haven't understood that they need to be broken. Maybe you haven't understood and stood against them. Uh, this is called faith. This is called receiving the word of God. This is called a lot of things. Um, receiving the promises of God. All the promises of God are yes and amen unto us. So, but now I, I, I really encourage you to have somebody else with you so as you start, as we start progressing into this, uh, this area of deliverance. This is also for people who want to minister in the area of deliverance. Uh, we're taking you, it's a kind of a training session. It, 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 you can use it at the, as, at the, as that. Give people this information, take them through. Some of you are actually taking through people's deliverance watching these. This is a good thing. Now, adversity. I want to talk about that a little bit. Uh, because adversity, uh, people that are living under some kind of a curse, the word adversity really uh, defines them, defines their life. Not them, but their life. And includes such terms as adverse circumstances, misfortune, continually struggling, difficult, hard things happening all the time, hardship coming into their lives, groaning and travail, bad times, up times, down times, bitter times, bitter pill, setbacks, reversals, <laughs> slumps, recession, depression, want, need, distress, extremely bad luck, ill luck, no luck, raw deal, rotten, hand, mishap, misadventure, calamity, catastrophe, uh, constant loser and scapegoat. You know, those those words I use on purpose because this is a vocabulary of many people under curses. It's adversity, total adversity sometimes. Other descript descriptive can be ill-fated, unlucky, unblessed, <laughs> luckness that people use. I don't like the word luck, but that's what they use. Hapless, poor, wretched, miserable, undone, unhappy, doomed, under a cloud, accident, prone, my own worst enemy, from bad to worse, from the frying pan to the fire. And life doesn't have to be like that, folks. Through the ages, people have come up with these things because they're part of a curse. That's what it is. And uh, the Lord shall send upon thee cursing and vexation and rebuke and all that thou says thou hand to. Deuteronomy 28, 20 says that. Now remember, the Lord's not doing that. It's just part of the blessing and cursing of covenant. And you'll, if you do not do what the Lord says, those things happen. They'll come on you. So this is very important. Uh, every, you know, the Berkeley version of this particular verse says that any enterprise that you put your hand to will fail. So, it can bring frustration. Frustration, it can baffle you. I'm trying everything I know to do. I'm confessing all the right things, but it just doesn't seem anything works out for me. It's frustrating for people. Well, sometimes it can be a curse that still needs to be broken. You know, the Word of God says in Deuteronomy 28, 29, uh, And thou shalt grope at noonday, as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. That's pretty powerful. To grope means to look for something blindly or uncertainly, to be confused. Thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. Thou shalt not make a success in life. Another translation of that. You'll be oppressed and robbed day in and day out. Nothing works out for me. So Deuteronomy 28, 4 through 5 says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee. And shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Wow. They come upon you. They pursue you. They overtake you. They show up in your life constantly. They badger you. Pursue means to follow. It means to be badgered. It means like to be stalked. They catch up with you. It's almost like you're under siege. And uh, Deuteronomy 28.52 says, And he shall beseech thee in the gates, in thy high 
and fence walls uh, come down. Wherein thou trustest, therefore, uh, the, throughout all the, the land. You're under siege, no matter what you try. It seems like the city, you're like a city without walls. You're under attack all the time. Proverbs 25, 28. He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city broken down and without walls. So life under these circumstances is pretty horrific. And I think that we pointed out uh, that we have to break cur this curse. Uh, then I want to talk just for a minute about the sins of the fathers because Jeremiah 32, 18 says, Thou shouldest show us loving kindness unto thousands and recompense the iniquity of the fathers, plural, into the bosom of their children after them. The great and mighty God, the Lord of hosts, is his name. This could be natural fathers or spiritual fathers that are bad. All right. And Exodus 20, verse 5 says, For I, the Lord God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children on the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So we can see that this, this stuff can be passed down. Hosea 4, 6 says, Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. And thou shalt be a, no, no, a priest, uh, shall no, be, uh, be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of God, I will also forget thy children. So even what our, our parents have done, our families have done in generations down causes these curses to be evident in people's lives. Proverbs 26, 2 says, so the curse causes, costless, causeless does not come. So curses, my dear brother and sister, are a doorway for demonic infestation and demonic things to come into our lives. This is the bottom line. This is where we wanted to get to, but how... However, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Praise God forevermore. There is a solution to all this. <laughs> all right? And uh, we're going to tell you what the solution is. The solution is to understand this. The solution is to come against and break these ungodly curses. And the solution is to address the curses, break the curses through the blood of Jesus Christ. Continually come against anything that even resembles a curse in your life. Apply the word of God to those things just like Jesus did. you got to be able to get the word of God down in your heart, speaking it out your mouth. When you begin to do that, you can reverse, praise God, any curse. And the blessing of the Lord will come upon you. And let me tell you, it's awesome living in the blessing of the Lord. Now, Galatians 3.13, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Curses is everyone that hangeth on a tree. I want you to understand in no uncertain terms, you have been redeemed from every single curse. Satan has no right to do this in your life, none whatsoever. We're redeemed from all these curses that are spoken in the law. We have completely free from them. And now we are going to get free. I want you to say that with me. I, say it, I will be free from every curse. Say this, I will be free from the effects of every curse. Say that. Continue to say it right now. Just keep saying it. I am free from every curse, and I will be free from the effects of any curse. Generational curses, remember, can go back 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 years, generations. We don't know what our parents did, what, what our families did. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. So what we're going to do now is we are going to begin to pray. Now again, please, I won't want you to, if, if you're alone uh, and you're, you know, you're not sure that you can handle this, I, I want you to get somebody to be with you. It, it would be important to do that at this point. So I'm going to go slow. I'm going to pray. I want you to pray with me. It's important that you speak out loud, that you pray with me, because I want to teach you the most important thing you can learn about deliverance and that is you have authority over the devil and these things for yourself so you can stand strong for yourself now i'll help you through it your your partner will help you through it but we are going to learn to stand against these things ourselves that's the whole point of this the quicker i can get you off of uh, getting help from somebody else and you helping yourself getting strong and help some, helping somebody else i've been successful in, the, in my endeavors here are you ready? Let's begin to pray. Say this with me out loud. Heavenly Father, 
I repent of any sins in my life. Or of, of any sins of my ancestors' lives. Repeat it. That have resulted in a curse. I repent. That means we're turning away from it. I repent of all disobedience. I repent of all rebellion. I repent of all perversion. I, pre I repent of all witchcraft. I repent of all, all idolatry, all lust, all adultery, all fornication of any kind, all mistreatment of others of any kind, all murder, all cheating, all lying, all sorcery, all divin divination, all Satanism, all occult involvement in myself, my parents, or my family in all generations. I stand in the gap for them. I break the curse. I ask for your forgiveness and your cleansing from every one of these things through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, say this. I take authority over and break any and all and every curse off my life in the name of Jesus. I break all curses of poverty, lack, debt, destruction, sickness, death, vagabondism, and gypsyism. I break all curses on my marriage, family, children, and relationships. I break every curse of rejection, pride, rebellion, lust, hurt, incest, rape, Ahab, Jezebel, fear, insanity, madness, confusion, schizophrenia, multiple personality problems, alters, and triggers in the name of Jesus. I break all curses affecting my finances, my mind, my sexual character, my emotions, my will, and my relationships in Jesus' name. I break every word spoken against me in any form that was a curse in the name of Jesus. I break every hex, every jinx, every spell, and every spoken curse over my life in Jesus' name. I break every fetter, shackle, chain, cord, habit, cycle that comes as a result of any curse in the name of Jesus. According to Galatians 3.13, I have been, been redeemed from the curse of the law and all curses that come with that in the name of Jesus. And by the sacrifice of Jesus, through his blood, through his death, through his burial, and through his utter and complete victory over every satanic power, every principality, every power, every ruler of the darkness of this world, every spiritual wickedness in high place. I exercise my faith in the blood of Jesus and loose myself and my descendants and my relatives from every single curse in Jesus' name. I claim forgiveness through the blood of Jesus for my fathers, my mothers, and all my relatives and generations. All of my sin has been remitted. I loose myself from the curse that came as a result of all disobedience, all rebellion to any of the word of God. 
I exercise my faith. And I know that confession is made unto salvation. Romans 10.10 10. Therefore, I confess that Abraham's blessings are mine. Galatians 3.14 I am not cursed but blessed. I am the head, not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am blessed coming in. I am blessed going out. I am blessed in what God has blessed. I'm not cursed. No curses can remain in my life any longer in the name of Jesus. Now I bind every strong man assigned to me, strong man in me, around me, in my mind, my soul, or my body, in the name of Jesus. I break the power over all lesser spirits assigned to give any power to the strong man. I come against every principality, every power, every ruler of the darkness of this world, every spiritual wickedness in high place, and I break any communication between any of these evil spirits and entities in the name of Jesus. I break the power of any communication I break the power of them giving each other any strength. I totally break all of their power to bring any curse in Jesus' name. I shatter it right now in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over every single area here that has we're praying about. The blood of Jesus covers every inch of my body, every inch of my soul, every inch of my mind. Strong man, you must lead me. And now we spoil your goods in Jesus' name. We say this with our mouths out loud, strongly and boldly. We resist the devil, and now he must flee from us. He flees in terror. He flees in dread. He flees in the name of Jesus because he is a defeated foe in Jesus name. We thank you Lord for the great victory that is before us. We thank you for total and complete deliverance. We know that we do not have to wait but we can be delivered right now right at this moment this is our time this is our day for deliverance in Jesus name we exercise faith in the fact that we have authority bought and paid for by Jesus Christ we do not come in our own strength we do not come in our own name but in the name of Jesus So now that the strong man is broken, now that every single thing the enemy has ever done in my life is exposed and open before the Lord, I ask the Lord Jesus, who lives in my spirit in the Holy of Holies of my temple, to rise up now and begin to feel and flood my very being with his light, driving out every bit of darkness on the inside of me, in Jesus' name. No darkness can remain. I will not allow it. I do not desire it to be there anymore. Go in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that your angels are all around me. Now to help me through my deliverance and to defeat every wicked spirit in Jesus' name. I command spirits of rejection, hurt, bitterness, 
unforgiveness, bondage, torment, death, and destruction to leave me now in Jesus' name. Now, let me stop here and say, if you have any problems here where you get stuck in a certain area, press stop, command those things we just said to go, and keep commanding them to go until you're free, your partner can help you, then turn it back on and let's go some more to the next one. And do that in every single area that I, that I quote. We command spirits of fear, lust, perversion, mind control, witchcraft, poverty, lack, debt, and confusion to go in Jesus' name. We command spirits of double-mindedness, schizophrenia, spirits that work with multiples and alters, multiple personalities, sickness, infirmity, pain, divorce, separation, strife, contention, depression, sadness, loneliness, self-pity, go, leave me now in the name of Jesus. That name that's above every name, you must leave. We command spirits of self-destruction, self-rejection, anger, rage, wrath, anguish, vagabondism, abuse, and addiction to come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and every other foul bird and false demon has to leave now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth according to his word, according to his blood. Now, Father, I pray for each person. I keep command every one of these evil spirits out of them in Jesus' name, off of them, around them. I break the power over manifestations. I break the power of any kind of thing against them, any kind of hauntings, any kind of, of appearances, any kind of noise, growling, sounds, whatever it is, any kind of stuff flying around the room. I break the power of any of this kind of stuff, poltergeist activity. I break it all in the name of Jesus. You quit it. You stop it. You must leave. you got to go. In Jesus' name, you're not welcome here. We break your power. We break your power. We break the power of satanic abuse. We break the power of created chosen ones. We break the power of any kind of mind control experiments in your life. We break the power of any of those curses. We break them all the way down to the very roots. We command them to leave, command them to go, command them to get out. In Jesus' name, we are free. And whom the sun sets free is free indeed right now. In Jesus' name, we thank you that we're free now. I want you to lift your hands, if you can at this point, and just begin to worship God and thank Him. Begin to thank Him for your freedom and do it every day. Thank you, Lord, for our freedom from every evil spirit. Say it again. Thank you, Lord, for our freedom from every evil spirit. Say it again. Thank you, Lord, for our freedom from every evil spirit. Say this with me out loud. Satan has no right anymore to talk to me, to induce me, to put me in a trance, I break the spirit of trances. I break the spirit of triggers. No trigger, no weapon, no trigger formed against you will prosper. Say it. No trigger formed against me will prosper. No satanic weapon formed against me will ever prosper again. Nothing that was done, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in any occult situation, any child abuse situation, any uh, pedophile ring situation, any type of ritual any type of thing like that that ever happened is now broken. You are free. You are loosed. You are healed in Jesus' name. And now, Father, I pray for any multiple things, Lord God, going on in the minds. I pray for a healing from schizophrenic thoughts. And I pray for a merging of all personalities into a whole person in the name of Jesus. God, only you can do that. The Bible says we are not to be double-minded. So, right, Lord, if there's double-mindedness, there could be triple-mindedness or whatever. But, Lord, form all of that into one mind. We rebuke 
minuses. Minus, we rebuke fear, we rebuke doubt, we rebuke unbelief. We say it has no place in these people in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God, for sending us free. And Lord God, we will promise to serve you and help others in Jesus' name. Now, Father, we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Now, I would encourage you, as we're going to talk in, in sessions down the road, to continue to listen, uh, to go uh, actually remove anything out of your house that you might find that has any, uh, any kind of uh, attachments to any of the occult items. I want you to go listen, uh, continue to listen not only to these, but my other uh, teachings. Just go to my uh, website, my Facebook my website is faithalifefellowship.org. My Facebook page and timeline, timeline there, Thomas C. Terry. Go there. Then you can uh, uh, go get on the links of the videos that you're seeing here. You'll go over. There's two links. There's Faith Alive Fellowship uh, uh, YouTube link, and there's Mr. Terry, which is my Facebook, or uh, excuse me, my YouTube link. We will continue to go along and teach these things, but listen to the other teachings because they have... It's like a puzzle. You put it all together for complete deliverance. We pray, Lord, also now against the spirit of infirmity. We command that spirit of infirmity to come out of them. I pray for healing all the way down through their bodies in the name of Jesus. I speak to healings in their brain, healings in their, uh, in their head, healings all the way down through their head parts, every nerve, every tissue. Lord God, literally all the way through their body, every organ, to literally light up with the power of God, the healing power of God, the zoe of God, be healed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ from any sickness and disease. And keep listening. As you go along, we'll address some more of these things, and you'll feel even more freedom and learn how to set others free. Till next time, we love you. God bless you.